G'day guys, it's been a while. Um, it's probably been since the start of the year I put out a video, so I thought I might as well get into it while I can and get out and show you guys a few things because the Salty Nipper from Berkeley has just come out, so I really want to give it a go and I thought I might as well do a video on it as well because I'm pretty excited that um, it's just been released and I just got my hands on it. So uh, we're just going to head out, we're going to chase some broom today. I was going to get the bigger one and chase some jewies and stuff, but I uh, couldn't find the time before work to get out and um, use that. So we're going to go out, head around the corner here. I'm just in Middle Harbour again. Um, throw up on the edges with the, the salty nipper and see how we go. Um, also going to try and throw some boat hulls and we might go and fish some bridges, bridge pylons and stuff like that. Just depends what the tide's doing. I haven't really looked at the tide. It looks mid-tide, could be going up, could be going down. Don't know. So uh, we'll get into it and... Hopefully catch some fish, hopefully dust off a few of the reels and get some fish in the boat. Um, right, so as I said, I got my hands on the salty nipper. I've got them in two colours. Um, I've got them in the better oil and also the camo. So I'll pull one out and show you what it looks like. Um, it's pretty cool design. It's very similar to their um, baby shrimp or baby prawn or whatever they call them, but it's got that nipper on the front. Um, yeah, I, I really like it. I really rate it. I think that's going to um, do some fair damage. It's basically crossed between the crabby and their um, and their baby prawn. So I'll chuck it on. I'm going to fish it unweighted now. Um, usually I'd use the 140th up on the edges, but the wind's pretty dead. So I'm going to throw it on unweighted and just see how we go. They're quite heavy. They're quite dense. So I think it'll sink quite nicely and not risk me getting snagged because I'm going to be rusty as so. Get the rods and try and see if we can find fish. So rigging them up, um, I haven't put one on before. Rigging them up is just a worm hook. Uh, I go through the tip, just like that, and then line it up. So it's going to be straight, go straight through the bottom of it, peel that up, and it's pretty straight there. So. That's all it is. Throw that up on the edges and hope for the best. It's fine. First cast special. There should be fish here because I've left it alone for so long that I can't imagine that. <laughs> all the fish have had time to just rejuvenate because I haven't been fishing. Instead of being smashed three days a week. A little bit happening on scope. There's a fish on that. There's a fish on that. Go on. Go on. Hit it. Oh, you fucking bastard. Yeah, that's the problem. So, so far it's pretty much the same um, with most of the gulp stuff. It uh, Once you get a bite, it's pretty much done. You're replacing your lure, um, which is frustrating, but they work. So if we can not go through 10 packets of them, that'd be nice. I don't know. Look, I'm not. Not hating, but I don't know why you would wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go and have someone yell at you while you row a boat. I don't think there could be anything worse than that. Unless you're training for the Olympics, it's a massive waste of time. <clears throat> right, so I've just pulled up on a bank. Um, I have got... The salty nipper on, 140th, um, just going to be running it along the edges and up against some structure and seeing if we can't pull a brim out of there. A um, couple of my favourite spots coming up, which is which is pretty much a staple when I'm fishing Middle Harbour, especially at the moment when I don't know how it's fishing. Um, 
But yeah, it looks good in the water so far. As I said, I was fishing and I'm weighted over there on another bank and it fished really well. It looked good in the water. So hopefully the fish think so too. Get the bite. Come on. <laughs> oh, there's one. Yep. Oh! No. Damn it. That was a good fish. I'm just not a good fisherman. There's another bite. Go on. That's better. Found the juice hole. That's a good fish. That's a very, very good fish. I don't know if it's a brim, eh? Oh, I just felt the line tick. Might. Oh my god. Don't go under there. Don't do that. No! What is this? Oh my god, it's the biggest brim. Look out, I need to grab the net. Okay, Aaron. Don't do stupid things. This could be a PB if it's not foul hooked. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a giant. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it's not quite PB. Um, yeah, I'm back. That's for sure. Right, there's the first one of the day. Um, yeah, he's probably about 42 tip. You can see that salty nipper right down his mouth. Um, yeah, great start. Like, it's good to be back catching big fish especially in my little home track in Middle Harbour. We'll get him measured and get him back in the water. That's, that's a great fish. Go on, ski. Get some more. It's just a little one, but it's two and three casts, which Proving the um, proving the salty nippers case. That was off a snag too. I was actually snagged up when that hit. Come here. Another one. It's actually not that small. It's actually a decent fish. Just compared to the giant we just caught, it's not as big. Oh, it busted me off. A little bit. Settle down. Settle. So again, you can see. Oh, hang on. So again, you can see it just did just snap me off, but that salty nipper in the side of the mouth, exactly where you want it. Um, and it's just come out of sort of this structure on the edges too, which um, is where I would expect them to be hiding right now. Probably the water's still a bit cold for that, but there will still be fish schooled up on the edges and it's just proving it now. I went over the edge there and it just wasn't firing. It just didn't look good. Um, and then come into the shade a little bit more and, um, yeah, fired up. So you can go back. I can mute the audio. So it's all right. There was one on it. Yep. Only another little one, but
another little one, salty nipper, doing its job up on the edges. Um, yeah, pretty convinced this is a this is the new staple in my tackle box. Um, on the 140th, just up on, just not letting it sit for too long so I don't get snagged. Uh, moving it pretty quickly, and that one just picked it up straight away. That lead is knackered, but anyway. Just a little one. A Luderick and Blackie. Righto, so the camera decided to die, so filming this on my phone. Um, we just pulled this one in off the bridge on that salty nipper on a 128th hidden. Um, so we might call it there for the day. I'll let him go. We'll call it there for the day. Um, all in all, awesome lure. I love it. I knew I would. Um, next generation of creature baits, as I said, Berkeley Gulp. It's a staple in my tackle box and in my boat always. So. Um, Thanks for watching guys, there's going to be heaps more videos coming out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow the Instagram at Team Traces Current. There's so much coming, you guys got no idea. There's, I've got rods from a company that they're going to give me to test a prototype that there's only one of one so far, so I'm really excited to show you that. Um, plus updates on if I'm going to fish a few more tournaments and stuff and where we're going to head from here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.